kind of looks like a honey pot to me, but it's peanut butter. Hey guys, what's up, what's going on? My name is Britt and this is The Banana Diaries. On this channel, I typically share a bunch of healthy recipes as well as inspirational videos. So if you dig that, stick around, subscribe down below and hit the bell notification. All right, so today in the theme of simple and easy recipes, we are going to be making homemade peanut butter from scratch. It is actually comical how easy this is. Like this, Nala. It is actually comical how easy this is and you get like the creamiest, smoothest peanut butter. Look at like, wow, that looks real good. It smells good. Tastes good too. All you're gonna need for this recipe is just peanuts, but you can also add in a few things like sea salt or cinnamon or vanilla extract if that is your jam. But I'm just gonna show you the base recipe and then I will talk about where you can add in those fun and super exciting add-ins. So let's go. So first you need to roast the peanuts at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about five to seven minutes or until they become aromatic and a little bit oily. Then we put the peanuts into a food processor and we're gonna secure the lid on top. Pulse the peanuts at a high speed for about five to seven minutes. You'll start to notice that the peanuts become more like a flour and then they'll start to turn into a peanut butter. If you need to, you can scrape down the sides of the food processor, pausing in between each pulse. Once the peanut butter reaches its desired texture, you can turn off the food processor and now you scrape down the sides and then you pour it into an airtight container. And you can also store this peanut butter in the fridge for up to six months. And there you have it, folks. An easy, creamy, smooth peanut butter. And if peanuts aren't your jam, which like I'm guessing they are since you clicked on this recipe, but in case they are not, or if you have other nuts aside from peanuts in the house, you can use this for walnuts, pecans, macadamia nuts, pistachios. Pistachio butter is actually so good, so I highly recommend. You can also use this in flourless recipes, which is what I'm actually doing. This is why I made my own peanut butter today, because I actually wanted to make some peanut butter flourless chocolate chip cookies. I was running out of peanut butter. Not what this joining. <laughs> so I decided to just make my own. So this is just like a really simple, easy hack. It's cheap. It's fun for people to make this at home. We have George Washington Carver to thank for that. So use this however you want. We have peanut butter in the kitchen. I don't feel like peanut butter. Nope, not for you. It's for your hair, and it is 9 a.m. No, Dwight, not the good peanut butter. I hope you liked this recipe. If you did, give it a big thumbs up and let me know what your favorite nut butter is, actually. I am tied between peanut butter and macadamia nut butter. Macadamia nut butter is so, so good. But then again, I also am very obsessed with peanut butter. If you follow me on Instagram, which I'll pop that right there, you'll see in my daily stories how much I consume peanut butter. That's all I have for today. I hope you have a beautiful and wonderful day. I'm gonna go get to making those cookies, but I hope to see you on the next one. Have a beautiful and lovely day. Remember, you are wonderful. You deserve to be here, and I believe in you. Bye, guys. Bye.